Ana, bienvenido a Brasil. We are on board of Schaefer 770 flagship vessel for this shipyard and we're really excited to have you guys on board. So we're starting on the swim platform as usual. Can you open this, see what's in there? We got our shore power connections right there. Equal staircases on port and on starboard. On the transom here, we have a hydraulic swim platform, which has a capacity of 800 kilograms, so 1,600 pounds. Of course, right now there's only an open rib here, an open tender, but you could have a center console. We have a giant garage here, which can hold a 3.6 meter jet tender and a jet ski. We also have this awesome stairs that when you lower it into the water, you have a really comfortable walkway down. These are awesome, I love them. Obviously, once the tender is in the water, you remove the chocks and you have a ginormous beach club. If you open this up, you can extend the shade and you really have like, this cool playground. So now we're gonna go up. Got a subwoofer here, yeah? Don't peek into the cockpit yet. I propose first we go forward. <laughs> Sounds good. So just here quickly pointing out, big cleat here for your dock lines and of course an electric winch to pull yourself in. You can see we have this foldable wow. walks balconies. They I mean, are amazing. How long are they? Oh, I don't know. But it's at least four feet wide. <laughs> Well, it gets wider too. Oh yeah, and it gets wider as you go forward. I mean, sometimes when I look at these fold-down bulwarks, right? It's like two feet by two feet. You're kind of like, okay, really? Is that worth it? I mean, this is huge. You could even have little like beanbag setups and everything. So right here on the starboard aft corner, we have an aft station with the Volvo IPS joystick. Of course, stop and stop buttons for the main engines. And an emergency fire suppression system manual pull. All right, and right here is actually where all our tensions are kept. That is nice to have the storage for yeah, it. When you remove them, they all go safely in there and put away. And nothing can get lost. So these are the big sliding windows and we'll see them on the interior. Fantastic. Really cool. Okay, let's go forward. So it looks like the owner of this vessel either has dogs or little kids. Yeah. Because the, the crew has this net. The net in? Net. Yeah. Check it out. Looks like a large storage locker. Okay, we have life jackets in here. Are these pop-up lights? Yes, they are. Beautiful with the sunshade. I mean, isn't that the spot to be? So today it's about 88 degrees here and pretty humid. Sitting here on the bow or even standing here on the bow right now feels great. We have a removable sunshade here, which is really great size. And then of course, sitting area here, right there is our layout cushion. Could be your backrest for the layout cushion as well. Just flip it around like that. There we that. go. Yeah. Under seat storage? Yeah. Yeah. Looks large as well. Wow, there's storage everywhere. Yep, yeah, that's big storage there. Okay, let's go forward. We have our anchor set up right here. Big, huge bow cleats, the foot remote switches, and then underneath access to the anchor locker from both sides. Anchor locker is in the center part, and then we have big storage area still on either side. Very large. Wow. Same here. Now I see it. Yeah. So, you know, for your fenders, dock lines. Oh, we have a secondary emergency anchor as well, actually. Good to have. Yeah, just in case. Go aft and check out the flybridge. I propose we go up to the flybridge. Sounds good to me. To get even more breeze. There we go. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. What? No what way. Wow. There is a spa top on top here. So there's actually quite a bit of furniture up here. A lot of it is foldable, so you can actually put stuff away. Maybe. What is the national cocktail of Brazil? Put it in the comments. What are we waiting? We can't read it right now anyway. <laughs> <laughs> the national cocktail of Brazil is a caipirinha, which requires quite a bit of ice. What's in there? I knew it. You interrupted me. I wasn't I knew it. it. So we have a seating area here. Oh, I like this. Like, how cute is this space? It is Even great. Underway, it's super comfy. It is great, absolutely. Oh, you have such a nice view of everybody just swimming. If you're not into like swimming, you just want to hang out, check it out. It's you know, a cool spot. It's very loungy, the setup oh, up here. figure out why it was so nice and shady, because they also have a removable shade up here. Correct. Massive hard top with an option to have it openable with, what's the word for these things again? Lu lu louvers? louvers? Yeah. yeah. There you go, louvers. I mean, I was just thinking about it. So this owner opt out of it, he didn't, didn't want it. Same here, like if we were having this for Florida or Caribbean, 
would never use double doors. In California, maybe. Because you want to get some sun in between to warm up. Yeah, because it's cold. Anywhere in the Caribbean, you will never open it. You're constantly hiding from the sun, so I feel like it would be wasted. You know, just something would not be used, it'll probably eventually will break because it's not being used enough. Very much agreed. Okay, what do you think of this? Now that I see the size of this, I think like, man, maybe we should have had one in our boat. Where would you put it? I don't know. On the bow? On the bow? I know for a lot of people this is on their MBBL, so put in the comments, what do you think of it? All right, mm. let's keep going. We have a little barrier here, two high chairs up here. And they're adjustable. They are? Yes, they have little, oh, what is called, screws. You can slide them forward, you can put them even you in or out them. a little bit, or remove them. I like that. Okay, then we have drink fridge here. A large one. We have a grill here, of course, Brazilian boat. There must be a, a barbecue of some sort here. It has to. Yeah. And then we have a sink and some storage here, huge storage. And then hold on, before you do the helm, let me show you this here. A really large sitting alfresco dining area. I like how they did this a lot. So if you're not using it for dining, you have plenty of space to walk around, but you can also open it up and have a proper, really nice table. It makes total sense. Whole, whole chairs around. Yeah. Really cool. And then you would actually remove this chair, for example, and probably put just a regular chair there. Yeah, exactly. Then you can have a little more space for the table. So again, we have a helm bench, which is a convertible helm bench, so it can become a booster. Not a booster. No, bolster. 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 Anyways, it Good. becomes your leaning post or it becomes your higher vantage point underway. Look at this visibility. I would be able to communicate with everybody on a foredeck. So we have our upper helm here, helm wheel right here in the center. Two Raymarine chart plotters, one on starboard, one on port side. One Volvo engine display in the center. Then we have on the starboard side, the Volvo engine start and stop buttons. We have the fireball control for the fire suppression system, IPS joystick control, trim tabs, shift and throttle control, USB outlets for chargers, as well as a VHF radio. The horn switch, and then moving further to the port side, we have switches here which are labeled in Portuguese. Sadly, my Portuguese is not fluent yet. <laughs> it's gonna all change in just but another day. It has to be bilge pumps or navigation lights. Then we have a fusion remote here for the upper area. You skip by something very important that should be brought up right here. There's a one, two, three. Oh, I thought we were gonna bring that up in the interior, no? Moving on. Yeah, we're gonna go check out the cockpit and then go on the interior. That's a great entertaining platform here. I would like to entertain right here. Look at this. How awesome it's is that? Beautiful. Look at the skyline. Gorgeous. You think like you're in Dubai and not in Brazil right now. Yeah, I don't think it looks like Dubai, but it definitely it gets close not to. what you think of when you think of Brazil, huh? No. a lot to do but we have a huge table here and the center one flips to the, oh, the flips over flips. yeah yes. this is cool look we've got cup holders right here and the cool thing is if you flip it over now look at the thickness of the table once it's folded together and look oh. at the thickness of the table of this one oh, it matches. they're gonna match now oh i didn't even notice that yeah so simple really so cool, cool. And really you cool have to let other people exactly Nuts. Yeah. Okay, really cool. And then on this side, we've got, let's see what we've got here. Oh, some top loading fish. Oh, I know what we're going to do when we're done filming. And then here, we have our sink. Trash. Trash. Yeah, trash can right here. Perfect. All right. It's kind of all here, right? But this right here is what we're going to check out later. That's our access to the engine room. Oh, got it. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Do we check out the interior? Yes. First of all, we have this no threshold, amazing sliding door opens all the way out. And that's just the beginning of this connection between the exterior and interior space. It's really all about marrying these two together. Well, actually walking in here, it feels like you're still on the exterior. Look at these huge sliding doors. Yes, yeah, so you have them on both sides. And I think I should use my assistant to demonstrate them. You don't have an assistant. Oh, so you can lock him in multiple positions. Which is really cool. Okay, That's there's really one, cool. one more. Go ahead. And? Wow, look at this. Look at this. So now we actually get to use full size of the bulwarks. I mean, the foldable. Foldable balconies. Bulwarks, yeah. Are amazing. And on the latest hauls, actually, this can change to have no threshold as well. So it's completely flat decks. 
That's amazing. All the way. Yeah. This is hole number three. So this yacht is actually almost a year old and it's in fantastic shape. It's amazing. It looks like brand new. And it's getting used all the time. The owner loves it and uses it a lot. Okay, walk us through the salon. Okay, so we have a seating area here, relatively large one. It kind of wraps around, right? Stands mm -hmm. out a little bit there, but still plenty of room to walk around. What I love is that they definitely utilize all the space to make sure they give you storage to be able to you know, use it with a whole bunch of people. Check this out. Definitely yeah, that's nice. on NBBL. And check this out. And if you haven't seen the shipyard tour. We'll put the link in the description of the video or we'll put it in a pop-up if there is a pop-up. Check it wow. out. Wow, even with the separators inside. And you've got that on both sides. And then turn around where you are, we've got a TV. Yes. And underneath here, we have a little bit of storage here. A little bit? That's yeah. really deep, actually. Actually, a lot of storage. <laughs> Pretty much fit in there. Okay. Yeah. And then we have our fusion stereo right here. And what's that? I know what it is. Breaker panel. Boom. Yes. Battery switches, breaker panel for high voltage and low voltage. Let me point out one thing quick, which I really, really like this. Lots of times when we're on boats in the 50 to 80 foot range, let's say, right? They're always trying to put as much furniture as possible onto the square footage of the space. Having these big sliding doors and keeping the space open because you have to, because you want to use it to get in and out on both sides. What I really like about this, it makes it feel very generous because you don't have to have furniture everywhere. Same with an apartment. It creates a generous amount of space. Yes. Yeah, I agree. I yeah, like I open spaces. What's interesting about this is they do have another layout opportunity here. Okay. Uh, which will pop for you guys to see right now. So basically, in this space right here is where the galley would go. So when this is open, it creates a really nice bar area. In a typical Brazilian style, you've really got a bar open to exterior. In having these massive folding pool walks, Yes. I mean, that is a great spot for so a bar. That would be the galley, then where you are would be actually the dining area. And then right here, we would have our sofas on both sides. I think we'll give you even more seating than we have right now. I think it's about probably similar, but it's just a different layout. It depends how you use the boat and you have that option. So you Got guys it. can check it out and let us know which layout you would prefer. Put it in the comments. All right, let's keep going forward. So we have this dining area set up easily for six. Technically, put a chair there, you can have dinner with eight people here. This oh, it's table, foldable. How cool is this table? Hold on. Check this uh, out. If you don't use it for any kind of sit down dinner, Definitely. put the chairs away, well, fold the table. It's just four of you on board, right? Yeah. You're really, most of the time, just going to use it sort of as a breakfast nook, and then you'll have your exterior dining out there, al fresco dining. You really probably would never unfold it. All right, and then now we're coming into our galley. U shaped galley. Yeah, so this is, I guess, the Manhattan scheme is mm -hmm. what they call this one and the color combination. And they have a few different ones. You guys can check it out on their website. All right, let's go through the galley, yeah? Yes. Okay, so here we have our fridge, Ooh. fully loaded with some beers. <laughs> Big fridge, huh? And of course, a freezer. There's probably lots of good meat in there. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Since we are in Brazil. Brazil, okay, cool. And now let's see, we have some office storage right here. Just check out the size. We have our induction four burner cooktop. And check this out. What's this do? I think, yes, oh. it is. Well, this is like the fastest window ever. Seen. I know, right? <laughs> Wow, this is so cool. It's perfect. When you're cooking, you want to so do some cross breeze. No, but think about it. You don't really need a hood. No, just, open, just the open the window. That's great. We have a microwave oven underneath. What's this? Oh, what is oh, this? Oh, is that a dishwasher? Yeah, it's yeah. a dishwasher. <gasps> oh my gosh, it's so cute. This is a good dishwasher. I've never seen this no. specific one in this size. It's like bigger than the one we had on our boat. It's a little bit larger, yep. right? Oh, great. Okay, we have a dual sink here. We have a large sink or a smaller one right here. Look at this windows if you're doing dishes. I know, isn't that nice? really nice view. And all the AC vents are in the right places. Standing here, like if you're cooking, look, you've got an AC vent right here. Yeah. Okay, then we have a couple of drawers here. I'll open one more, just because we're not oh, in a rush a today. It's double, double drawers. Yeah, double drawers, actually. Yeah, yeah I really like that, actually. And then on this side, we still have a bit more storage. It's actually deep. Oh, you can open it from both sides. Really? No, you can't. <laughs> I thought, but we missed this here. Can I show this? Yeah, what is that? Stemware. Oh, okay. I found it. Oh, 
on a trash can. <laughs> and then we're moving forward. This is another option possibility. So you can also do a forward facing bench to have you know four or five people sitting here underway and mm -hmm, just kind of mm -hmm. hanging out if you're doing longer passages. Got and it. of course we have our helm. Yes. Go we ahead. Do. Well, first of all, if we get there, look, there's some storage there. Extra cool. storage, three, this, three big, yeah, this is actually used three good size drawers of actually. Galley. We actually chatted about this earlier. Yeah. We really like the bench setup over two separate helm chairs. I like it too. Gives you a little bit more space because it's a continuous bench, of course. It's not just two separate chairs. Is that why we're having just a single captain's chair on our boat? Because we have the bench behind. <laughs> Is that because you really like to have to be able to sit with somebody? Yes. That's why you're putting just your own single captain's chair? Oh, we don't have boat? to sit in the captain's chair. We can sit together on the bench. Who's going to sit in the captain's well, chair? Well, the captain. Then? The captain is going to oh. sit in the captain's chair. Anyway, so we have a bench which is electric, so you can <gasps> actually nice. move it to the position where it's convenient or most comfortable for you. Very nice. One step up gives you a fantastic visibility even with the shade up and everything that yes. you guys saw when doesn't we were at the infringe, bow doesn't infringe at all nothing it's pretty great yeah. it's a super calm day you can keep it up and go the way the bench is it's also the perfect leaning post okay starting in center get the helm wheel right here volvo ips display right in the center two raymarine chart plotters with the yacht management system integrated onto the chart plotter as well so as you guys can see anything standing out anything you guys noticing well if you haven't yet i will point it out we got one two three main engines we got three volvo ips 1050s on What's this boat the Power, power. <laughs> speed, okay. power. For maneuvering, you're only going to use the two outside ones when they're on the joystick mode. But for you know higher speed or in general going straight forward, you use all three. I know the Shaper has lots of different engine options. Mm -hmm. it must have been a request or a particular order. Yeah, I believe you can also have this boat with V drives or straight shafts. So there's different there are different options. options yeah. Sure. So walking through it, we have nice acrylic cup holders. Nice. We have the beautiful vents, which look like a high-end German car. We have the Seakeeper control, Fusion radio control, lots of switches, which are all labeled in Portuguese. So I'm a little bit out of my uh, comfort zone here. But if I would take a guess, I would say it's for navigation lights, it's for bilge pumps, for the horn switch. What's horn in Portuguese? No. Oh, I know what it is. I mean, I don't know, but I would think it's buzina. Yeah, Right. buzina. Buzzer. Buzz, buzina. <laughs> Let me buzz you. Press that buzina. No, I'm not. Okay, let's continue on. Okay, go ahead. Going through, we got the shift and throttle control, Volvo controls right here. Mm. We got the trim tab controls here. Mm. The ignition switches for the Volvo engines, for the main engines, as you guys can see. One, two, three start and stop buttons. We got the Fireboy remote here for the fire suppression system and the joystick for the IPS drive, a VHF radio right there. And moving back over here, we have something else. Oh, no way! We well, got electric the windows. Fastest window I've ever seen. Yeah. Why was it so fast? Want to put it back up? Sure. Do you have one on, on your side as well? I got one on my side as well. So this window is opening up, lowering down. Really convenient as well. If you don't use the stern station and you want to stay in the air conditioned environment, just lower the window down for docking. You can communicate with whoever's helping you on the dock. This is really cool. So technically you've got five points of airflow entry, which is... Exactly. Crazy. If I have somebody standing on the swim platform, I can actually almost see the back corner of the boat. Well, that's the trade-off, right? Because if you've got a galley on the side, you will have a little bit You're missing more, that a little yeah, bit. You will be blocked a little bit more. But then you have the aft station, which I think is perfectly fine. And you still have the flybridge. That's very true. Let's check out the staterooms. Come okay, on. Okay, let's go. So on our port, come on in. So it's four cabins, four heads. Each one has a dedicated ensuite. Yeah. Well, one is shared with the slash day hat. Well, it's not shared them at night. Nobody it has using a dual it. function. Yeah. It has a dual function. <laughs> Check this out. So what I actually like about this cabin is it is taller than some of the other cabins. So you have an option for somebody who is tall to put them in this spot. This is six eight, so this is at least seven feet. Yeah. So this is a beauty. Every single cabin has this. You can put in an insert that goes right here and every single bed could become a very large bed. A 
king size bed pretty much or at least a 180. i like it so we have an openable porthole right there mm -hmm. this one's not a hanging locker this one's got shelves i'm pretty sure that you can change that if you wanted to and then that's an air conditioned access oh no a drawer wow then come on in look at the size of these doors but even here i have it's plenty of headroom so what i'm saying this is like your tall person cabin that's how i think of it you know mm -hmm. it's really tall here proper doors so Agreed. I'm pretty sure you're not hearing anything because it's really well done here. Okay, this is a really large head. When we ran through here, I was really impressed. Oh wow. Check this out. There's so much room. And they're accomplishing it by doing one of these showers. Got a rain shower overhead built in. Okay, check this out. Ah, okay. It's really large. Actually, yeah, it looks very comfortable. So check it out. Yeah. It's a really good size one person shower. You know, the trade off of it, of course, is that it's not your typical shower, and every time you finish, you gotta do this mm -hmm, little mm -hmm. movement here. Which I think is perfectly fine. You know what I think? It should be the next generation of showers. They should have one of these Dyson dryers built in. So when you twist it, it will. Like good idea. <laughs> it's like a tanning booth. Yeah, you don't even need a towel anymore. Yeah, you come out, you go, and you dry. Uh, you might be onto something. Someone's gonna patent it now, I can tell. Anyway, jokes aside, it creates a really, really nice space here. If you're traveling, you Five better minutes. not be spending more than 10 minutes in the yeah. shower. So, so with other words, it's a one-person shower. Yeah, it's perfect. And then we've got a toilet, got a bidet right here, right next to it. Let's open this up. Oh, look, you've got an openable porthole. Oh, I like it. And then we have a medicine cabinet right here. We have a single sink, and there's still a little bit of storage here. Hmm. Okay, now we're gonna go to our starboard side. Same thing, we've got a twin cabin, possible insert. So again, you can have a really large bed here. See what I'm saying? The other one is even taller. Yeah. This one's great height, of course. But if you've got a six, seven person on board, which apparently a lot of viewers who are six, seven, they're constantly commenting, that would be your cabin there. You have an option. So for sure, we have some shelves here and also drawer storage there. Got it. Of course, we have a TV mounted across. We have our ensuite, which is also doubles as a day head. Got it. Oh, that's a little different layout than the yeah, other side. This one is a bit smaller than the other one. That's what I'm saying. That one's but huge. Not by much. But they're definitely able to give you a lot of space here by doing the shower in this configuration. It really is a nice trade-off. I like it. This way, everyone's got their own ensuite. And honestly, like in this layout right now, yeah. or in this footprint, it's the best solution. It works fantastic. You Agreed. don't have a wet head and you have tons of space here. All right, same thing. We've got some storage. Open one up for you. I don't know if you can see that. It's basically the same thing. We've got our little medicine cabinet. Really nice. That's what you got, the VIP. Yes. Okay. VIP is all the way forward. Come on in. We're kind of debating on the size of this bed. Riku thinks it's 180. I don't know. It does look bigger than a queen. It is larger than a yeah, queen. Yeah, I think you're right. What's that? Open the one on your side. Oh, we have the tall side. So we have a step up. You have two. Okay, so the first one I still fit with a hat still on. Still pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. And then there's one more step that, of course, allows us to go all the way forward. Oh, extra oh, storage. Extra storage. Actually, it's great with your phone. It's basically your nightstand. Oh, I that's, like this that's a it. lot. That's it, yes. And then we have a big overhead hatch. Yes. So that's, of course, your escape hatch out of this cabin, and you can also open it. Yeah, you've got the same thing on your side, so we'll just open one. You have some storage going pretty good mm -hmm. here. You've got your shelves right here. Yeah. So far, no hanging lockers, but I'm sure that's an option you could unless, pop in for. Unless there's a hanging locker. You think? Nope. Nope. Shelves. Shelves. Huge drawer. Yeah. And it brings us to our ensuite. As well, they use this space wisely and created and gave you a lot of room. Head, bidet, storage underneath, and we have a medicine cabinet. Pretty similar. It's okay. very equal. Very fair. Definitely. <laughs> very fair. Really very fair. All right, let's go check out the owner suite. That's going to take us midship. That's the day head. Oh, that's the day head. Yeah, somehow it felt yep. there, but yes, it's here. Day head! Okay, what's let's go. A, what's there above? I think it's access to the helm. Electronics. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. It's like a service access yeah. to the helm. Okay, let's go down. So here we have our drink fridge. It's a wine cooler. Wine no? cooler. Yeah, exactly. Very large. And then right here, we have our washer and dryer combo and space for all your cleaning supplies. It's perfect. Full really beam. nice, full beam, 
There's still a good headroom here. I'm gonna say it's about maybe six, seven. Mm -hmm. So the other cabin is still taller, which I think is really cool they have that. So here we have our settee, really nice size. Actually a small child could easily sleep here, take a nap. When we talk to the shipyard, they're saying they could actually also have another office option there, right? Yeah, you can do like, you know, his and hers type of deal, like have a makeup station, could have a working desk, one side. And then here we have another closet, again, shelves, and our air conditioning, the TVs right here. Oh, behind the mirror yeah. glass, yeah. What else do we have here? There's nothing here. Unless... Can you get yeah. <gasps> no way. <gasps> oh, Huge storage. I love it. And this is a really low sitting bed as well. Yes. So it's super comfortable and having these large storages underneath is amazing. You can also have an option to have this bed taller if that's what you like. But this, for me, it's a must have. Agreed. Even just throw in suitcase. Yeah. You know, like when you arrive on your boat, if you don't live on it. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And on this side, on our, wait a minute, starboard. Oh wow, open it. Oh, it's a mirror. For a moment I was like, how you is it possible? You thought it just kept going? How can it be so deep? <laughs> no, but it's still a really good size. Oh, it's beautiful. Definitely. So you can have a safe in here, got some drawers. It's great. Really nice. Okay, and then we have our shelves here. I'm telling you that is definitely a request. All shelves. So mm -hmm. whoever owns this boat likes shelves like you. Well, for swim trunks and t-shirts, you don't need hangers. It's very true. All right, so we have some drawers here. Look, all drawers, lots and lots of drawers, really cool. And then right here, we have our- Makeup station makeup or jewelry station. Yeah, and of course, this is a great working space, home office, you know, boat office that you can set up here. It's a really big surface, it's really nice. You can actually put a large computer screen if that's what you do for work. I know mm -hmm. a lot of people have like a dual screen set up. There's lots of room here. Look at the size of these windows. I know. The view, I mean, look at the view. We are so fortunate. So I propose you go this way and I go that way. Sounds good to me. And maybe we meet in the middle. All right, so here on the starboard side, we have a sink, really nice one actually, with good amount of counter of space behind. We have the sliding option here, so you can have the daylight come in and an openable hatch. So underneath we have plenty of storage, well, lots of it actually. Very, very vast area, actually really, really large footprint. We have the electric hat, and then on the center part of the boat, we can open this and hi. You wanna join me? We have a center shower. Center shower, it's Jack and Jill. It's really great setup here. It's easily a three person shower, mm -hmm. very nice. And then if you come over to my side here, it is equal. So no one needs to fight for this space. So do you have a hat there too? Yeah. Oh course. shoot, yeah, that's right. Yeah, so this was also upon request of this particular owner to be able to have this kind of a head. Another option is actually having another closet where you are. This is so having cool. yours and my closet there, yeah. so you have two, and then having the shower in this space, which is actually still plenty, big right? To I share. mean, it's, it's yeah. a really big, big footprint. It's very large. I agree. Right? Okay, where are we going next? Crew quarters, engine room. Let's do it. All right. Come on out. All right, what do we have here? This is the entrance to the crew quarters and the engine room. Oh, both? Yes. That's really deep. Oh, how deep is that going down? Wow, holy smokes, how deep is this hall? All right. Oh, it's the crew quarters. Yes, it is. Oh, wow. It's a lot bigger than I actually thought it is. It's uh, actually crew quarters for three. Oh, yes. I did not expect it. I so, thought it'd just be like twin bunks. So that's the captain's quarters. And that is the panel we saw in the owner's bathroom. So that's an escape hatch Must out be. of yes. the owner's suite. Correct. Got it. So there is crew on board of this yacht. So we're gonna just be respectful. I'm not gonna open stuff. There's a very large closet here. This whole thing is. Is there a bathroom somewhere? No, here? it's uh, all the way back there. 
Oh, yeah, it's okay, shared. Switch. It's definitely an innovative way of how they did this because yeah. you know they're not working with a huge amount of space and they were able to actually fit three in here. It's pretty amazing. All right, so here is our bathroom. It is a wet head, so you have a toilet right here and you have a little sink. Yeah. All right, and there's a little bit of storage right here. Definitely compact. I mean, for US market, a lot of people will do this as an owner operator. As we've spoken before, in Brazil, it's very different. You know, there's always crew on board. In terms of services, it's just a completely different mentality. They're used to having crew. I can't imagine having more than a deck hand for this vessel and for US market. Agreed. So, so great now, storage. Going into the yes. landing area. Yeah, so wow, this must be a bulkhead here. It huh? is. It is a bulkhead. Okay, we have a little fridge for them as well and a sink here microwave right here as well so a little crew galley a little storage yep. yeah so then this so is before an we engine go be yeah before we get in there the gener generator is running yeah so it's going to be louder gonna be in loud. there so i'm going to be picking up my voice and hopefully everybody can understand me but i want to definitely show it well go ahead you can go Look at this, guys. So we got one generator all the way aft on the port side there, Cummins generator, which is not running right now. We have one, two, three Volvo Penta IPS 1050s. This boat comes in three IPS options. So you can have 950s, 1050s, or 1200s. Top speed on the 770 is almost 31 knots with a cruising speed of about 24, 25 knots. Got our two Dometic chillers, which are running, of course. Big breaker panel here. Huge sea chest right there. Access to the very front of the tender garage, where we're seeing a jet ski sitting in there. And of course, fenders stored in there. So going over to the starboard side, got this generator running right now, supplying the boat with power. Have another sea chest here. There you can actually see all the way down there. This is the opening to the ocean where we're pulling the water in from. It's actually really good access still to the engines. Having three large Volvo IPS in here, no problem at all. Water maker equipment right mounted here on the outside. Blue water water makers actually. Pretty cool. The big Sea Keeper 16 in the center here keeping the boat really stable. Over there on the port side, we see the big fire suppression system, fuel filters. It's a very clean engine room and really good access still, even with having the tender garage in the center. No problem at all for maintenance. It's pretty amazing. Alrighty guys, 